1970s makes a return. Updated for the 2020s, the chopper still features the banana saddle and chop tube gear shifter of the original. All I has relaunched the chopper, probably its most famous model, in a new version updated to meet the safety requirements for all bicycles in the 2020s. The new chopper has the famous sprung banana seat of the original and even the top tube gear shifter, which was relegated to the bike spars in later versions of the chopper, in deference to the march of health and safety. The MK1 Raleigh chopper was launched in 1969, but it was with the MK2 chopper, made from 1973 to 1985, that the bike really took off, selling millions worldwide and in the 1980s rescuing the Nottingham-based bike brand, which had once been the largest in the world, from near bankruptcy. Bike has gone to great lengths to replicate the looks of the original chopper. The relaunched chopper follows the design of the MK2 chopper, with a CRMO steel frame and mismatched 20 inch rear and 16 inch front wheels. As with the original, the 580mm riser steel handlebars are welded to the stem, so that they can't be tilted backwards. Although later choppers included derailleur gear options, the new bike replicates the three speed hub gears of earlier models. The CC bar behind the saddle is there too, although it's a few inches lower than on the original bike. As with that model, there's the short rear rack to carry your frisbee or whatever and that funny mount in the headset to push your ever ready front light onto. Of course, there's no sight of disc brakes, with rim brakes responsible for stopping power. The company purchased a number of MK2 chopper frames, which, alongside the original hand-drawn technical drawings, which were scanned for new CAD design templates for the new bike build, that despite its beefed up frame and components, the modern bike's 18.4 kilograms weight is similar to the original. The red and ultraviolet color options replicate two of the original colors available for the Mark II chopper. The new Raleigh chopper frame comes in one size, 37 centimeters, and the bike is available in two colors, and for red and ultraviolet, again reflecting two of the color options of the original Mark II chopper. The recommended retail price for the new chopper is 950 pounds. That's quite a jump from the 32 pounds for which the chopper originally sold. Raleigh describes the new chopper as a limited edition, so it remains to be seen how many it plans to manufacture or if the chopper will take off with kids, and their parents who remember riding the original, and again becomes a blockbuster bicycle. It's also offering a range of spares for the new bike, many of which it says are compatible with the original Mark II chopper, so it might be time to dust it off if you still have one lurking in your shed awaiting a restoration project. Thanks legends and I hope you are all well. Don't miss a moment from the sports that you follow. Help us to bring you the best content possible. Please share, like, and subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.